Good evening, everybody. We have some company. Trying to be super quiet here. Welcome back, everybody. For seven days to die on the Xbox One. Man with a plan here. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm having a, a, go a good night. A real, like, poop in my pants night. I put some storage boxes down. That's about as far as I got before I was sensed and they all started smashing down the doors. And I have a feeling one of them's outside. So I made myself a new club, but the problem is still, is that it's way too dark. So if one of them comes in here, I'm not going to be able to beat him up. We'll have this little bit of light that we've got by the door here. I'm just waiting until it turns morning so they stop running around, and then we're going to open up this door and hammer them down. So I've been having a good little rethink on our tactic today, pretty much, um, and I've decided to call this spot home for now. We do have some of the supplies to make this place a little bit more homely for us, generally with some light, um, and with this upstairs area that you have to go all the way through the house and get into the garage before you can get up the stairs, we can put a good few walling down. This should support us quite well for the first horde, I would imagine. I've put a box here as a kind of storage stuff not to forget every time I leave, such as water and food and things like that that caused us a huge problem in the last episode. But here we go. I can hear them. They're definitely inside the house. And by the sounds of that, they are still running. It's ten past now, so they shouldn't be. Oh man, such a huge problem with the darkness. Really, really big issue. Well, we're... Come here, Torch. Come, come. There you go. We're gonna have to go find them. We can't have them just wandering around in the house. It's, it's not even their house. They're not allowed in here. Oh god, they sound super close. Hello? Are you guys down there? I have a feeling that you are. Oh yeah, they're in already. They are definitely inside. Good lord, they've hammered up loads of the house. What the crap -o? Now i got to try and get them out of here. Smashed all of this down. They've taken out my other door. Hey! This isn't your house. Get out of here. What are you doing? Oh, there's one. <laughs> that's it. Come here. Sorry about the darkness, guys. Oh, that's the wrong weapon. Get out of it. Okay, let's take him outside where we can actually see a little bit. That's a better idea. There's probably some more, I'm going to imagine. That's a little bit better out here. Oh, what a huge pain in the butt. What a huge, huge pain in the butt. Yeah, I see you there. Where's on the floor? Can't see at all. Die! 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 <laughs> I'll beat you up with a torch. Could have just been this guy, actually. They are incessantly loud. Blah! Explode a face. No, nope, definitely wasn't him. He doesn't have a face to be making any noise anymore, so there is another one around here somewhere. Hmm. I take back what I said about this possibly being a good spot to have our first horde. I take it completely back. This is no good at all. But we're going to get some tallow so I can actually make enough light to explore places effectively now. Yeah, that door's gone as well. I thought that was an outside door. Come on now, where are you? Hunting zombies around in the dark. I must be insane. You in here? Hiding in the bathroom? No. Well, I'm sent, so they must be after me. Oh, I thought that was one then. You're up front of the house? Yeah, there you are. No, move. Move, move, move. Go back to the arrows. Oh, man. The extra dark that is in this game has made it a lot more terrifying and, and really difficult at the same time. Ugh. Huge pain in the butt. There we are, he's dead. 
So it was only the two of them. That's that's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. So, all right, let's get this place a little bit more tidied up. Essentially, really, I'm I'm still not sure on the spot after rethinking it. I'm really not. I haven't found anything worthwhile looting nearby. We could be out in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's no water supply anywhere nearby as well, which could be a huge issue. Uh, so pretty much, we're just going to take what we've got and we're going to continue on our way, trying to find somewhere that might be of use to us. I am injured now as well, so I'm going to have to get some food in me, and we can start healing ourselves up a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to move all of the stuff that I've stashed in these places upstairs, and we're going to use this place as a kind of like HUD effect. Yeah, we're all we're all full, so we don't need any more food. So yeah, and then oh, we can continue our search oh, in the hopes of finding a better home. And then we are going to put so many torches down so I can actually see finally. It will be amazing. I actually just noticed we have this little cash button here. I don't know what it does. Hmm, interesting. Alright. Oh, man, so much better to be able to see. This is awesome. Much, much nicer. Uh, so, I'd actually like one for the outside of this door, because when you come up those stairs, it's super dark and you can't find the frickin' door. And in all honesty, I'm, I'm probably just going to make them all into torches, just so I can carry a buttload with me, because I'm definitely going to need them when I come to trying exploring places. That is definitely going to be a thing. Oh, we can make the little candles. Ah, super cool. Not worried. Let's get all of these guys. Sweet, awesome. While that's crafting up, what do we need for our bellows? Where were they? There they are. Uh, 20 animal hide, wood and iron pipe. I think I might just have enough animal hide. Amazing, yes we do. And I definitely have some iron pipes. Let's get that guy made, so that that can definitely become a thing. Sweet stuff, and that will be needed for our... Our forge, where are you? There you are. Now, I know we need some clay for this. Question is how many? 50 clay, 50 stone, and another iron pipe. That's not a problem at all. We can get that up and running as well. I've been noticing we've been getting a lot of different stuff from even the normal rocks that we smash up, which is super cool. Like, not only do we get raw iron, we're getting nitrate, we're getting coal, we're getting all sorts of awesome stuff. So that's really, really interesting. I like that. Keeps it a little bit more fun for us. We're going to get some more cool things. Now, let's see here. Right, so if I go out and gather up some clay and some stone, which is what we're going to need, I'll take these with me, it's the only ones I have at the moment. We'll continue crafting on our arrows, and I'll put a torch at the top of the door so I can actually find this frickin' door. Amazing, because it's super, super dark out here as well. And if I put a torch over here, I'll actually be able to find the exit. Which would be amazing good too. So, right, let's get a little bit of this stuff going and get that forge up and running, because we're going to want it. Oh, a dreary rainy day. This looks like some clay right next to us already. That's awesome. Uh, I really don't need a pistol barrel. That's not what I'm after. Alright. Alright, good. Alright, good. So let's get you and our bellows, which I thought I put in here. Nope, still got them in my inventory. That should be everything we need. Sweet, amazing. So this is what we're going to be using our coal for instead, because we want to keep the wood. And coal used to be the most important thing for making all of my, um... I don't want that trash there anymore, I'll put the furnace there for all of my torches, but that's obviously no longer a thing. Whoops. So we're going to use this one for this instead, which sounds like a great idea. Let's take our raw iron out as well. Is that in there? It sure was. Give that to me. I'm going to take that wrench with me today as well. Yeah, that will be useful. I'll actually chuck that one there. Make a couple more of those frames. Yeah, I'm liking it. I also noticed scrap plastic, which is something else that I haven't seen before. I'm super interested in seeing what else it is that we can make. Uh, let's see here. You can go there. That'll be fine. And blah, blah, we're forging. Amazing. Super cool. So let's get you into here. Uh, not you. We'll get you into there. Well, then, yeah, I'm not really sure how long this is going to take. Um, and we'll get you guys into there as well. Turn on. And that will start melting everything down for us, and we can start using that a little bit later. I'm just going to eat these couple of snowberries. Nim, 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 nim. Nim, 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 nim. That'll do just great. Let's put the rest of the stuff down that we've got, as we may not require any longer. 
cotton can go in there, that I'm going to keep. That can go away, that I'm also going to keep. And you and you can go away. Let's make up those other arrows and get ourselves a new bow. Will be super handy to see that made. Excellent. And we can queue up bow as well. One more of them. Sweet, excellent. Okay, yeah, now we're talking. Oh uh, yeah, I, f I put some shorts on. Because <laughs> I was always getting super hot, so now I'm wearing some funky cool shorts. And some sunglasses, which is amazing. I wanted to make my cowboy hat, but I haven't quite done it. Also, we do have a level. We haven't applied this yet. We've got 11 points that we can use. Now these 10 pointers are the ones we're interested in. Although, I've got, I've got a little bit of you know, confusion what to go for. Uh, the survivor and the camel will reduce our hunger and thirst. Uh, run for us, run, I think, makes us use less stamina when we run. Yes, it does. But the sexual tyrannosaurus makes our stamina regen faster, which would be amazingly good too. Um, probably could be super handy for us. However, if I page my way across to this guy, the quality Joe... Ah, we can't actually get him yet. Scavenging level 20. Okay, that makes that a little bit easier. I am going to go straight for the sexual Tyrannosaurus so that we get a little bit faster stamina regen. That's better. The fog's cleared. Oh, it looks so much nicer now. Super, super happy. Amazing. Right, so, uh, map is what I'm looking for. Here we go. Right, we want to head over to these guys. Thankfully, they're already on the map. I'm going to follow the road down, and we'll veer off, and we'll pick up both of those, and we'll see where that road goes at the same time. Sounds like a fantastic idea. I am hoping that we will be able to pick up some health packs from those little crates, and maybe a recipe or two, which would be super useful. You can stay in there, and yeah, I feel like that is actually everything. I will make sure that I have had all of my food and water that I could possibly need before I go. Obviously take these guys with us, have some food first, drink up, and then we're on our way. Okay, sweet, here is the road. So I'm going to follow this road heading south until they are pretty much at 90 degree, or if the road actually leads towards them. Sometimes I remember from the other games that, um, was that a bag? No, it was a tyre. Sometimes I remember from the other games that weapon drops can tend to drop near a town, so it could be a sign. Oh, I'm going to have to take you out too. Really, right under his legs. We're also super hunted. Something chasing me? Oh, it's a crawler. I don't care. Stupid things run so far. But it's alright, I've got some food at home, I don't have to super panic about it. Actually, that looks to be 90 degrees from the road where we are now, so let's just beeline over to it, see what we can find. That deer is pretty much gone, I'm not going to waste my time running after it. Ooh, cactus. Ah, it's in Wasteland. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead for it, because I super need this freaking thing. What you got for me? Ooh, 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 an SMG schematic. I will have that. SMG receiver, SMG stock, painkillers, and antibiotics. Very, very useful. Very useful. Whoa, dog. Not useful. Dogs are definitely not useful. Why the balls is there a dog on day three? Are we close to the... To the central town. It's okay, it's a rabbit. We are. We must be close to the central town. I am really worried about that dog. I am really worried about any other dog sneaking up on me now. There's another zombie over there as well. I don't like wastelands and I really don't like dogs. They are way too fast for my liking. Let's see if we can get up here, because he seemed to struggle with it. Oh, it doesn't struggle with it that much. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, good lord, no. Get away. Get away. No. No, 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 no. Use the bandage now. Oh, no. Ah, oh, super slow at bandage use, and it resulted in our death. Ah, balls. Oh, and we're back. Not good at all. Definitely not good. Let's have a little look-see-loo here. There is where I died. And that's really strange. The coordinates at the very top here aren't anywhere near the markings of zero and zero, which is normally where you find the beginning city. It should be 
Wow, like quite a way over in that direction. And I know that dogs hang around there, so I'm really surprised to find dogs here. Maybe they've just been added to the wastelands? That could be a thing. Um, mm. Now, the difficult choice of whether to go and get our bag, because we did get some useful stuff out of that drop, but I was only carrying the very bare essentials, although all of my water was there. Ooh, huge pain in the butt. I'm going to have to give it a try, I think. Although, if it looks like we're going to die again, we're, it's not worth losing the wellness at this stage at all. But we'll give it a shot. Okay, we're back. I see no sign of doggy. Now I just need to find my backpack, collect it all, and run. That's, that's all we really have to do here. Obviously, the marker on my HUD is very, very clear as to where my bag is. However, my actual bag to run up and pick it up, not so much. Not so clear at all. I have a feeling it's behind that house, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's where the dog is too. So let's run around nice and wide. Oh, the fog's really going to help. Thank you so much. Oh, no, I hear him. No, the doggy's already on me. Oh, no, I don't want to die again. Please, good God. It's, it's all over. It's all over. I don't stand a chance. Oh, no. Okay, well, we are not getting that back. We are definitely not going to be able to get that back. Um, not without getting enough stuff together to be able to get... Oh, we're going to need to gather up a buttload more feathers. We're going to be able to... Oh, man. What a huge ball ache. What a huge pain in my balls. That is going to be really, really difficult. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of gathering for the rest of the episode here. Um, and since it is 6 o'clock, there's not much time left before it hits night time, and then it's going to be way too dark for us to record anyway. So, I am going to leave it on that terrible disaster that just was. Thank you guys ever so much for coming to join me again. It's been a bit of a tough start for me this time, I must admit. Normally, it's not too bad, but I am being very, very brutally reminded that I am actually fairly new to this game. And I don't know a lot how it all works, and boy oh boy am I learning a lot. I really, really am. Oh my lord. If you have enjoyed it, of course, and watching me fail endlessly again and again, please hit that like button. And if you're looking forward to watching me somehow dig myself out of this terrible hole, then hit that subscribe button too. I'm going to gather up all of the stuff that I need to get ourselves a little bit better set up yet again. And then when we've got some more arrows, I uh, might try and go back for that bag, but I don't think it's going to be worth it that much. we got to get some exploring done. Oh, feathers. Give me to me. Because we're going to have to get into a, a little bit of a better situation before the board comes, that's definitely for sure. I don't trust this house at all. Oh dear boy. But nevertheless, thank you all very much yet again for coming to join me. Always a pleasure to see you. I hope you've had a fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.